If you buy a lot of deals from AppSumo, then you've likely encountered the ability to customize different elements or styling inside of these tools using CSS. And I just picked up this deal called intab.io that leaves the store in just under two days, $39 on the lifetime deal, allows you to inspect CSS on hover, debug CSS issues visually, fix responsiveness. Now I'm gonna show you this tool, but that $39 gets you three browser licenses. And I wanna show you from my perspective as someone that does not really code or know CSS at all. Uh, of course, the reviews here are fantastic. This is a truly great tool. I encourage you to check it out. But up here, it is a Chrome extension. And if I go ahead and turn that on, we'll see at the top the ability to edit CSS, which is what I'm gonna be doing using this tool as well as the ability to look at it on different devices, the website that you're debugging or that you're on. So if I wanted to see it in landscape mode, I could do that. If I wanted to see it on a phone only, then I could do that here. And then of course, let's turn landscape off because most people are gonna be vertical on their phones. I can look at the different CSS, the breakpoints, all of those different things. Let's go ahead and turn that off, go back to the main element. And what you'll see is as I hover, it's going different padding, different sections, uh, the CSS, all of that is inside. This is an inspection or an inspector on the front end of the website. Now, if I come and wanna turn off the outlines and the selectors, the content, the padding, maybe I would just wanna do like CSS and borders, I could do that. And then it's gonna show me the CSS and borders. Maybe I also wanna see the padding, I can do that here. Whatever you're looking to debug, this tool from the front end is going to help you do that. So I think that's pretty neat. Now you also give an x-ray mode where they're gonna do all these different colors. I don't even know what these colors are if I'm being perfectly honest. I don't think that I'm gonna be using x-ray mode much, but between x-ray mode and breakpoints, which allows you to see the different breakpoints for that mobile responsiveness, you can really troubleshoot and design your site accordingly. Now this is a great solution for people like me who are not a developer or coder, don't know CSS, I need something visual. So if I click the visual editor, I can now come in here and if I wanted to select this button, I could actually put a border on the button, I could change the background color. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. We'll turn the background color purple and we'll go ahead and put yellow text in there. Why not? If I wanted to change the font family, I could do that quite easily. I could even change the weight if I wanted to bold it up a little bit and increase the font size. Now beyond that, I could come down here and do effects. I could put like some sort of a shadow on it, maybe like this, spread it out and then blur it. And I think that looks pretty good. Is it a little bit loud? Is it a little bit, you know, in your face? Absolutely. But I want you to check this deal out if you buy a lot of AppSumo deals and encounter CSS because it's truly a great deal. And I meant to make a video way before now, I just saw it's leaving the store. Let's jump into one of my main use cases, which is on deals like Spread Simple. So what we'll see here is this is the Spread Simple support.aiprofits.com website that I built like a year ago. I absolutely love Spread Simple. And if I come into the back end, one of the things that I don't like is under the design, I can't do too much for the styling. They've got a couple of theme colors and they give you some basic styling. But like if I wanted to change this H1 tag here, good luck. I'm not gonna really be able to do that. Whereas I could come in using N tab and now all of a sudden I can hover over this, select it. And if I wanna change, like for example, the text, I could change the font family. I could even space this out a little bit more and then I could give it a background color, which of course I don't think we're gonna do here. But instead, one of the things that I do wanna do here is uh, let's turn the background color off all the way. And let's give it an effect, like some sort of a shadow effect. I can give it like this 3D effect and make it look a little bit more technical. Now, once I've done all of this, I'm gonna to need to turn on the code editor to copy my actual code. And if I copy this code here, which I could click the copy down here and go into the back end of Spread Simple under settings, inject custom code in the body section i need to type in style and then i need to go with in style and in between those two i can just paste this code in click save and now we've done some custom css that spread simple didn't allow onto uh, our website so it is just that easy to add css to virtually any tool 
but maybe I wanted to give a shadow to my button. I can easily come in and do that. Let's select our button color. And in fact, we need to go back out, make sure that we're in our visual editor, select the button. It does click through, I've noticed that, but we wanna make sure here that the button is in fact the correct button. So if I go to, so if I come back and then click inspect and hover over the button, we'll see that it is SV tile BTN, which is the target button selected. And then under effects, I could easily add a shadow Go ahead and blur that out a bit. Maybe we wanna even make the shadow like yellow or some weird color. Let's go with like something like that. Just a nice subtle shadow effect. I can come back to the code editor, jump in there, and we've got our first CSS up here at the top. And then we've got our button shadowing. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, jump into the back end one more time. In between our two style tabs, I'll go ahead and paste, click save. And then when I scroll down, we should see that nice shadow effect on our button. So if I click open, just like that, we've now styled this site very quickly, very easily from someone that does not know CSS at all. I can just copy and paste and kind of troubleshoot, figure things out as I go. So hopefully this video has brought you some value. I highly encourage you to check out NTAB before it leaves the AppSumo store in just two days. My name is Scott with AI Profits. Give this video a like if it did bring you value. Subscribe if you want to see more content like it, and we'll see you in the next one.